Hello, this is Connor Comby. Connor is COO of a U.S. med tech company. He and his team developed an extremely effective treatment of several cancer diseases with a drug combination product. They use the pharmaceutical effect of the drug and the physical effect of the medical device to reach extremely good treatment results. The development of their products in the USA was quite straightforward, as first the FDA is responsible for drugs and medical devices, and the FDA publishes and updates guidelines on the development of combination products on a regular basis. Now, Connor wants to move to Europe in order to develop their products in EU member states and get an EU market approval from EMA. But Connor needed to learn that everything in terms of combination products is very different in Europe compared to his beloved home region. First, there is no EU regulation for combination products. Second, the European Medicinal Agency, or EMA, is not responsible for approving the medical device part, but this is done by notified bodies. And third, good clinical practice is not applicable for the medical device part of their products. So actually, everything that they've experienced in the USA so far is not applicable for Europe anymore. Therefore, they needed help to manage the hurdles of the new market. Said and done, he and his team started to search for a CRO with experience in the development of combination products. They recognized quickly that this would not be an easy challenge as most CROs had either experience in the clinical development of pharmaceuticals or in medical devices, but most had no clue about drug device combination products, which they learned is essential to start clinical studies with such products successfully. The larger EU member states like Germany, Poland, and Spain are especially important for Connor. Therefore, the next hurdle was to find a supporting partner who knew the different rules and has experience with the development of combination products in these countries. Again, they experienced two types of CROs, the large ones with the international experience but no clue of medical devices, and secondly, the smaller service provider but without a large European coverage. Finally, they found a mid-sized CRO which covered several countries in Europe with experience in the clinical development of pharmaceuticals, medical devices, oncology, and the best even with experience in the development of drug medical device combinations. These guys were even able to explain to Connor why these products are regulated so differently in Europe compared to the US. They highlighted the biggest issues which could be avoided and the fastest ways to get fast approvals from ethics committees and competent authorities. They explained how some European competent authorities review the study documents and that different departments are responsible for different components, but that sometimes, unfortunately, these departments don't speak with one another. They also explained that special attention needs to be spent on topics like safety reporting, insurance coverage, archiving timelines, and different responsibilities of authorities within the same study. For Connor's team, it sounded all very confusing and ineffective, but rules need to be kept, and this is easier when you know them. Therefore, he was extremely glad that they found the right partner who could really help them best. They finally saw light at the end of the tunnel, on their way to get their market approvals in Europe. If you want to develop drug combination products, why don't you select the right partner to support you best? 